Hello everyone, my name is Mark Davis and I am the Live Event Strike Team Lead. Today I'd like to tell you about our next live event, the Wild Hunt. The Wild Hunt coincides with Warhammer's one year anniversary and it's full of awesome. First let's talk about what exactly is the Wild Hunt. Well, the Wild Hunt is the High Elf holiday where every year they get together to honor the god of the hunt, Kuranos. They do this through a number of different things, through hunting, through trying to even sight the legendary white stag, or even challenging the avatar of Kuranos himself and the Hunter's Veil. Vale. So, let's get right into some of the new adventures that you can experience. We're introducing an open RVR public quest in each RVR area of the High Elf lands. In the first stage, you'll need to arm your traps before your enemy does. Army traps will help with the next phase when members of the Wild Hunt group show up to hunt you. You'll need to take down a group of three hero master hunters while fending off enemy players and watching out for the spirit of Kronos who roams the area. If he comes across you, he may become displeased and decide to curse you. You need to pass this curse to an enemy or an ally within a few seconds or else you'll turn into a pig. If you manage to win the public quest, you'll have a chance at earning a very cool event vanity wolf pet. Remember, the PQ loot box will appear at your war camp. Some important things you'll want to know about the Hunter's Veil. Vale. First of all, there's a version for each tier and you'll be bolstered just like in RVR. The monsters in the dungeon are not warded. The entrances are in the RVR areas of the Elf lands only, and in tier 4 they're only going to be available in the zone that's contested. And remember, the dungeon is only up during the event, so have as much fun as you can while it's available. All of this, of course, leads us to the Hunter's Veil. Vale. It is a unique six-man instance dungeon. Once you have faced down the difficulties of entering the Veil, vale, you will first be challenged by the very forest itself. If you pass this first trial, you'll move deeper into the woods to be met by the creatures who protect it. Finally, if you survive this stage, you'll need to solve the riddle of Kuranos and take on the Master himself. The last thing I want to tell you about are the rewards for completing this event. The rare reward for taking down Kurnos, besides credit for an event task, is the Fleet Stag Mantle, which will allow you to transform into a stag with mount run speed. Completing two tasks will earn you the title Wild Hunter. Complete four and you'll receive the Stag Skull Trophy that you can wear to brag about your hunter skills. And for completing eight or more tasks, you'll unlock the Bleeding Heart Charm. This item goes into a brand new item slot on your character. This slot is the event slot and is reserved for event items only. The Bleeding Heart Charm will decay in real time, whether you're logged in or not, and will expire sometime around the next event. So if you want to keep this slot full and to play at your maximum potential, you'll want to complete this event and the next. So there's so much more about this event that I'd like to tell you about, but unfortunately we're running out of time. But don't worry, you'll get your chance to experience the rest when the Wild Hunt goes live this summer. Until then, I'll see you on the battlefield.